Right, you bastard. Die! 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 Yes! That got you, didn't it? Right, hello, um, this is Jamie from randomizeduser.com, and we're playing Space Thinger in time for its Steam release. Uh, now, I have done a video on this before, um, as part of my Alpha Soup Strand, but this is the real deal. The, the previous time it was just a one-level demo. But everything's pretty much as it was in terms of gameplay. It's still about killing as many bads as you can, the red dots on your scanner at the bottom. Kill enough bads, and you'll be able to escape into hyperspace. However, um, also what you have to do is collect stuff. Like, let's, let's just collect the- ow! Dicks, that's not collecting things, that's bashing into an asteroid. No, if you if you destroy the asteroid, or if it's small enough to destroy anyway, it will release its goodies. Um, it's called mining, but it's really basically destroying! Yes, there we go. Once you've destroyed an asteroid, it'll leave behind ore for you to collect. I'm going to come on it carefully. There it is! Yeah, there's a little bit of ore. And if you get enough ore, and if you get enough um, debris from killing spaceships, um, you will be able to heal. But also, look at the top right, that's, all, that's what you're collecting. Um, but also, once you've collected enough stuff um, and you've completed the level, you'll be able to spend all that stuff on power-ups. So it's now become far more important to actually collect things as well as blasting things. Right, so let me just get, get this bloody thing. It's really fiddly at times. There we go. So I've now got four bits of asteroid ore and one bit of space debris. Um, if, if, if I wanted to heal, I can press a button and it'll repair a quarter of my damage, but it'll use up one each of the things. So the objectives, is asteroids destroyed one of five. That is a kind of like an optional ad, um, objective. I didn't really realise this in the first video, but those missions are entirely optional. But it does allow you to get a lot more trove to spend things on. You will get rewarded. Oh no! A baddie shot the bloody thing out of the sky. What shits? Ah! Right, so I'm just going to kill. I'm going to kill some bastards because they're all bastards and they deserve to die. They've been bad spaceships, bad, and they need a good spanking. Die! It doesn't actually make it clear. <laughs> Has to be said, the game doesn't make it absolutely 100% clear that you're supposed to kill baddies to complete the game. I know that's bloody game 101, but it does seem to emphasise the bloody asteroids destroyed bit rather than the um, killing bastards bit um, on the all this on-screen text. And um, so it would be nice for them to say kill baddies. And because I'm, I'm, I need to be easily led. <laughs> I'm getting old and stupid. Really, this game, especially in the early levels, is mainly about just blasting things like this at close range, um, and also slightly less close range. I'm actually right in the middle of absolutely everything here. Uh, my um, my bloody shield on the right is dying. Um, in fact, I, think I better top up my um, shield. I uh, press the um, the red button on my controller, and there we go. I've used up one each of the things now. So what I need to do is just keep on blasting and blasting until eventually I've killed enough baddies. Um, oh no! What's that? It said warning, and I didn't know why. Oh, just kill everything! Kill everything! I've also got some um, other weapons in the bottom left, but you only use those in, like, dire emergencies. Oh god! There, that's a dire emergency! Oh, cock. <laughs> Shit! So, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So one of them is a countermeasure, which you can blast off to try and trick uh, missiles coming in on you. And the other one's just a great big missile. But you don't really need to use them particularly on the first level. It's best just to save them to the next levels, where things get a bit more real, and there are bigger ships to destroy, and things like that. So I'm just going to keep on just actually blasting things. Um, the mission objectives are always marked by purple dots on the scanner. It's a bit of a knack trying to read the scanner, but once you start using it, um, um, it kind of becomes essential and you spend half the time looking at that. Um, hang on, where, are, where am I? I'm lost. Oh, there we go. You can also use your long-range scanner, which will temporarily bring up lots of things, using the same colour scheme. So blue are things to destroy, like asteroids, purple are the mission objectives, red are baddies, green are things to collect, and yellows are things that are homing on you and, um, and might, might make life a bit difficult. Uh, oh god, where am I now? I've, I've done it again. Well, bloody hell. So it's important to point out that it has changed since the alpha version. Um, it's no longer one level, um, it's, it, well, it's it's more than one level. <laughs> I haven't got very far yet. Um, but in, on each level the mission objectives will be different. On this level you have to, um, or optionally, you have to destroy five given asteroids um, and you will get rewarded. On the next level, level two, that's the one you actually see in the original um, alpha demo. So there's 20 bits of um, random ore strewn around the place, which you can get. Again, it's optional, and it's rather nice to do. Oh, god. And of course, in each level, the threats start to get a bit harder. Like, at the moment, you won't see the horrible death ship that fires this horrible, horrible laser at you. That's saved till level two. And is a right bastard. Um, as you, if you've seen the, the previous video, you'll know all about the bastardly fire that it wreaks upon you, like a bastard. Did I mention that they're all bastards? 
Oh, come back! <laughs> come back! I was chasing that little bit of ore. There it is. Come here. Get into my... Oh, dicks. I've missed it again. You'll, you'll end up doing a lot of this in this game. <laughs> right. Doing a big sweep of the system. Absolutely shitloads of baddies now. Whoa. Right. Follow, 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 follow. Round the go. Uh, I think they've all been formation. The bastards. So the, the smart person will be able to get behind them all at once and then just take them all out. Which is actually, I'm, I'm almost trying to do that at the moment, actually. Um, but I'm not smart. I'm just lucky. Oh! Go, oh, go, oh, go. Oh. There we go. There's another one. I'm just using my blaster at the moment because that's... It, they only take a couple of hits each, as so long as you can actually aim properly. Uh, you can also do a bit of targeting, which I've never quite got used to. But, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn around. Uh, die. Die. Oh, just get died. Oh, you purple bugger. Bugger. Uh, no. God, I need to start leading properly. There we go. No, no. Just, just, just. Oh, I just let off a missile. <laughs> I destroyed it and then set off a missile in anger. Uh, but that's kind of pointless. <laughs> right. Okay, I need to start collecting stuff. I'm um, collecting stuff because they buy your power-ups um, once you finish the level. That has become a lot more important than in the demo. So I need to get busy with... Ow! I think I'm getting through this. I think I'm nearly there. Um, I really wish it would tell you how many ships you still need to destroy to complete the level. That would be rather handy. So yes, it's a very intuitive game, but also at the same time can be confusing, paradoxically. Um, so I think it just needs it does need to explain itself just a little better. And um, because once you've actually got a handle on it, um, it's great arcade fun and you know highly recommendable as well. Oh god, that was a nice little explosion. Oh 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 um, oh oh oh. There we go. There's not many of them to fight back now. Here we go. There we go. I've, I've just just destroyed enough. I think you can tell when the the, the, the warp gate's about to open. When it starts to feel that um, the sky starts to feel a lot emptier, and there aren't many things shooting you at once. I could use this opportunity to go collecting things, but I'm just going to sit here, wait for the gate, and then power into it. Uh, wherever it is. Oh, there it is. Yes. I was a bit premature there. Right. And now we come to the power up screen. Um, that's a bit of a mission report. Um, Space Janitor 3000. Uh, that sounds very familiar. <laughs> uh, okay, um, let's move on. Okay, this is the power-up screen. So the green stuff is the stuff that you've already got installed. And the um, the grey stuff and the red stuff. Well, let's have a look at the help. Um, the grey stuff is the, stu is the stuff that's available. And the red stuff's unavailable at present. I don't think I can afford anything. Because I've only got five and three. And they cost quite a bit. So I'll have to get on to the next mission. Um, which is now level two. Uh, technically uncharted territory, um, but this is actually the, um, the original demo. So in this case, you just have to collect, um, optionally, some alien ore, which is this stuff. Um, that can be destroyed, so it's pretty much... You're not going to be able to collect all 20, but it's a good start. So yeah, um, and now it just repeats itself, really, but with harder enemies. Um, I'll just try and fly, fly around a bit, see if I can find the evil laser spaceship, because that is something that you should really take out as quickly as possible. That's just a big thing. Um, just ignore the big thing. <laughs> Don't crash into it. Oh, there it is. There's the big evil spaceship. Um, this is one of the times where you have to start using your missiles and things like that, as well as your blaster. So wait for it to go red. There we go. And there it is. It's shooting its laser at me already. Um, that's why I'm going on fire. And I can't repair the damage it, that causes. So I'm just going to absolutely blast it to bits. Die. <laughs> Die. Die. Oh, look at my health. Look at my health. This is not the way to do it. I'm just using this horrendous brute force. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, dear. I've gone into the first person. There we go. Oh my god, look at the missiles! They're everywhere! Right, and that's how you do level two. <laughs> oh god. Right, just quickly going to give you a bit of um, bonus... Oh god! Um, level three action. Where... Oh god! It's really hard. <laughs> oh god! There's mines everywhere. And there are... The baddies are now quite hard to destroy. Um, different colours as well, a different feel to the environment. But those horrible things, they take a lot to kill and they deploy mines like anything. Um, and look! There's a planet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a planet. Yeah, that's some. You can't argue with that. Um, oh, God, where am I now? So, yes, it just gets incredibly tough um, by level three. Luckily, if you do die, you can continue from level three if you so desire, rather than having to go back all the way back to the beginning. And by the way, I have actually powered up now. Um, I was able to afford a, a slightly bigger armory, so now I can, I've can. i got five missiles instead of three, although I've already shot them all out in a blaze of glory. So that's that sketch knocker then, anyway. Yeah, uh, This is tough. This level is bloody tough. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Oh, donk! Donk! Yep, there. <laughs> Piss. 
Okay, so that's Space Thinger. It's cheap on Steam now, just a few quid. It's occasionally a little rough around the edges, but who cares? It's excellent arcade action, once you give it a good chance. So thanks for watching, this has been Jamie from RandomizedUser.com. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.